a leather bag like the ones used by country doctors for carrying their equipment. Burglary in British Museum, one casualty, 5,000 pounds damage, culprit unknown. Return of the Raven? I'd have escaped anyway, but Inch just couldn't resist playing with dynamite. I hope the security guard recovers soon. Some of the passengers got off the train to stretch their legs, but this man started his journey right here in Zurich. He waited a good 10 minutes for the train and began to get impatient. Clothes maketh the man. Put a uniform on a short, old, rather chubby little man, and they'll show him all due respect, even if he's only a constable. The uniform alone gives him power, and that counts for a lot in this part of the world. This is the saloon car, fully furnished with a bar and all the niceties. The ladies and gentlemen would have a fit if I just waltzed in there wearing these clothes. I can't board the train like this. I'd stick out like a sore thumb, and they'd throw me off without a second thought. They won't let me ride along in the freight car, not even if I ask nicely. Sometimes you can find useful things in a waste bin, but this one seems to have been emptied recently. The crate must have had bananas or something in it. It's empty now. There probably isn't a single newspaper between Moscow and Madrid that's not reporting on the burglary. I'm famous. Unfortunately, not for the sort of elegantly executed theft I'd like to be known for. The conductor from the train. He's keeping a watchful eye on his passengers and their luggage. The train's been held up, and he seems to want to prevent further delays. He'd see me if I tried to board the train. If I try to just get on the train, the conductor would probably stop me and might even turn me over to the police. I can't risk that. Inch loves the spotlight and has a flair for the dramatic. Why else would he call himself the Raven? I don't like having to risk my own neck as part of his drama. What's the point of leaving messages for his opponent? Huh. A ticket for a trip on the MS Lydia from Venice to Cairo. Some banknotes and a passport, blank. No personal info, no picture. Inch has brilliant contacts in the underworld. He knows the best counterfeiters, technicians, pickpockets, and con men. He remains anonymous, though. Most of them don't even know they're working for him. Mr. X, his contact in Cairo, probably doesn't have a clue who he is. My travel documents. I shouldn't have any trouble getting to Cairo now. I can't board the train like this. I'd stick out like a sore thumb, and they'd throw me off without a second thought. I'd like to know what message Inch finds so important that he's willing to risk my neck to deliver it, but... Now's not the time. I have a train to catch. Hmm. 
If I swiped the bag, it'd cause confusion while people look for it, and I might be able to sneak onto the train. The only problem is, I can't take the bag with me. Not a chance. The doctor could easily spot me taking his bag. He'd sound the alarm, and our Swiss friend would have no choice but to arrest me. And then we'd have a real problem. I'd like to know what, but... It's built out of thin wooden boards. Probably didn't have to bear much weight. This wooden crate is big enough to completely conceal the bag. It'd be protected from prying eyes. And I could make my exit from the scene of the crime unnoticed. There's still one problem. Someone might see me picking up the bag and putting it into the crate. I don't think I can lure him away. One of the passengers would have to ask him for something. It would be best if I could get my hands on his clothes somehow. The conductor's uniform would be the ideal disguise. Judging by the bag, he's a doctor. He radiates self-confidence, almost arrogance. I'd better not interrupt their conversation. As long as they're talking to each other, they're distracted and paying less attention to their surroundings. Not a chance. The doctor could easily spot me taking his bag. He'd sound the alarm and our Swiss friend, and then we'd have a real problem. This wooden crate is big enough to completely conceal the bag. It'd be protected from... There's... I'd like to know what, but... My travel document... He'd see me if... Huh. Even if I was able to distract the conductor and slip onto the train, I'd stick out like a sore thumb with these shabby clothes. I have to find something more suitable. If I try to just get on the train, the conductor would probably stop me and might even turn me over to the police. I can't risk that.
can't board the train like this. I'd stick out like a sore thumb, and they'd throw me off without a second thought. This is the saloon car, fully furnished with a bar and all the niceties. The ladies and gentlemen would have a fit if I just waltzed in there wearing these clothes. Hmm. If I swipe the bag, it'd cause confusion while people look for it, and I might be able to sneak onto the train. The only problem is, I can't take the bag with me. Not a chance. He'd sound the and then. My travel documents. My travel document. This wooden crate is big enough to completely conceal the bag. It'd be protected from prying eyes. And I could make my exit from the scene of the crime unnoticed. There's still one problem. Someone might see me picking up the bag and putting it into the crate. It's built out of thin wooden boards. Probably didn't have to bear much weight. Not a chance. The doctor could easily spot me taking his bag. He'd sound the alarm, and our Swiss friend would have no choice but to arrest me. And then we'd have a real problem.
I'd like to know what message inch fine but I'd like to know what met but I'd like to know but I'd like to know, but... Not a chance. The doctor could easily spot me taking his bag. He'd sound the alarm, and our Swiss friend would have no choice but to arrest me. And then we'd have a real problem. Not a chance. The doctor, he'd sound, and then we'd... This wooden crate is big enough to completely conceal the bag. It'd be protected from prying eyes. And I could make my exit from the scene of the crime unnoticed. There's still one problem. Someone might see me picking up the bag and putting it into the crate. A handy Swiss army knife. A good friend gave it to me. 